God said David would become the next king. As soon as he had the prophecy, he behaved himself. God didn't help him behave. He behaved himself. Some of you don't know the reason you should live responsible is because of the prophecy on your head. God cannot say you are going to be great and you, are, you become an addict to alcohol. No matter the potency of a prophecy, foolishness can frustrate it. Foolishness, you know foolishness? We raise him. We raise him. You know foolishness? Or me raise him. Or me raise him. Or me matology. No matter the prophecy, there are people with massive prophecy. As soon as your prophecy is to guide you responsibly, as soon as God said, this is what you are going to be, it means you should start behaving with wisdom. Because the devil will contend that prophecy. God can't say you are going to be a great person and you keep keeping late nights. The enemy will waste you to frustrate that prophecy. Your prophecy is a guide, it's a compass to your lifestyle. Your prophecy is a compass. David behaved wisdom. Proverbs 4 verse 7. He said wisdom is the principal thing. Get wisdom in all thy getting. Get understanding. Sir, don't forget this. Greatness is not for fools. Success is not for fools. Get close to every genuinely great man. You will see a level of wisdom. Wisdom. David behaved himself wisely. David behaved himself wisely. That was in the anointing now. That was him. Behaving himself. Verse 14 says, behave himself wisely. Verse 15, behave himself wisely. And first Samuel 18, verse 30 said, he behaved himself more wisely than all the servants of Saul. More wisely. When you know what you carry, there is a way to live. When you know what you carry, there is a way to live. Stop living rascally. Stop living anyhow. What you carry doesn't permit that lifestyle. You are too royal to be ordinary. The investment of heaven on your life is too much to be ordinary. For you to be ordinary. David knew the prophecy he carried. So he, he knew that once you have a prophecy, you have become Satan's target. So David knew that with this prophecy I carry, I've got to be careful. I've got to be careful. I've got to pilot my affairs with a level of wisdom and care because the devil is going to come after me. Because people think that once a prophecy comes, fulfillment is unconditional. Sir, no. No. Even in institutions, academic institutions, there is no scholarship for exam. Scholarship only covers your tuition fee. You will write exams. And there's a way you will so fail, your scholarship can be withdrawn. Oh, you're not aware? You fail because you are giving scholarship on the platform of performance. So when it drops, you have killed your expectations. So it's, it's a waste investing further. So the, God expects you to behave yourself with a level of wisdom. Wisdom makes you know that every day must count. Psalm 90 verse 12. Psalm 90 verse 12. Teach me to number my days that I may apply my heart to wisdom. Let me know that I don't have much years. Hundred years is like a flash in the palm. So that I will know how to live so that every day we count. 